All right, so protecting against um, loss here. So, and, and this isn't going to be for everybody, but um, I used to do distribution and shipping for a countertop manufacturer. So we would ship big slabs of, of synthetic granite, um, acrylic, and we would have sinks and we would have adhesive that color matched to everything, right? And those little adhesive boxes were pretty small. When I started banding and bundling everything together for orders, it was typically countertop, sink, and glue. Well, I kept getting the glue lost. And the problem was this glue was color matched. So certain ones, just like any other company out there, they have hot items and it would be hard to keep certain things in stock. Well, I got tired of doing this. So what I did to mitigate loss on this was I took my little small box of adhesive and I started packing them inside of my sink boxes and then just writing notes on the sink box because it was a lot harder to lose a big sink box banded to a pallet than it was this small little like five inch by two inch adhesive box, right? So there's little tips and tricks that you can do by putting certain packaged items inside of the other. You're just gonna have to put good notes in there for the receiver of the freight so they don't short the items out, right? But this was just something I did because I kept having one piece of my three or four piece order getting lost continually. I got tired of doing it. So we just started putting the smaller boxes inside of the medium boxes, labeling it and getting with the customer service reps to let the receivers of the freight know that that's where their color matched adhesive was located. And I literally reduced my loss ratio on that by like 80% just by doing a little thing like that. So if anybody's out there getting frustrated, maybe in the same scenario, uh, just start you know, for lack of a better term, thinking outside the box.